Hi, welcome to the Washington, D.C. Market Watch, brought to you by RBI Real Estate Business Intelligence, an MRIS company. We're going to dig into the most recent numbers from the Washington, D.C. housing market. Let's jump right in. After several months of comparing to the 2009 and then 2010 tax credit periods, we're finally comparing two non-incentive markets. And boy does it show, both sales and prices improved since May 2010. But it's not all roses and sunshine quite yet. There was an important dynamic occurring at this time last year. As purchase demand was shifted forward into spring, sales and prices generally responded favorably. When the incentive expired, sales levels dropped. Therefore, favorable movement in May of this year could have more to do with a drop-off last year than an uptick this year. But it's good to see some plus signs swirling around. Pending sales increased 38.9% from May 2010 to arrive at 1,229 for the month. While this does suggest improving consumer confidence, it's important to watch what happened between April and May of last year. Inventory shrunk 17.3% to 3,687 units. Inventory levels are preparing to round off their seasonal peak. Aggressively priced homes should start to see quicker market times as a result. Prices gain some traction, which may reflect increased activity at higher price points, as well as a greater relative share of traditional homes selling. The median sales price was up 3.6% from May 2010 to $357,250. Month supply of inventory decreased 2.1% to 4.5. That means that fundamental market forces are now back in balanced territory, which help pressure prices upward. Increased demand relative to supply usually moves the price needle up. So what does this all mean? Well, I'm glad you asked. The market currently has enough homes to meet the next 4.5 months of buyer demand. But sales are constantly leaving the market while listings are constantly entering the market. Over time, we've developed a set of expectations. A typical seller would like to move within two to four months of listing their home. That's why one to four months is considered a seller's market, five to six months is considered balanced, and more than six months, is a buyer's market. In other related news, the national interest rate dropped to 4.88% on a 30-year fixed, while the unemployment rate snuck up to 9.1% in May. The economy added 54,000 jobs during the month, which was far less than April and less than most analysts expected. We'll need at least 200,000 jobs per month for a sustained period in order to curb unemployment. But positive change is occurring. Stronger job growth and improved consumer confidence is needed to keep the ball rolling. That's the Washington, D.C. Market Watch for this month. Check back next month for the latest.